What are you up to? I'm creating my own personal castle. I can see that, but why did you decide that you needed one? Because I want more castles, fortresses, and all that. Simmer down, you king of the slimes. We can build another one. Let's go. Oh, let's do it. Hi, guys. Today we have something really interesting for you. We're going to build another castle. Remember when we built one last time? Yeah, shoot, that time we used bricks. I got paper now. I need a castle, a fortress, not a hut that could be easily blown away. <sighs> Relax, Sammy. It's just the layout. Believe me, this is going to be solid and good looking. Uh, first, apply the glue to the base like this. We're going to need lots of glue today. <laughs> Whoa, shoot, so much glue. Unbelievable. Uh-huh. And now goes the layout of the castle. What do you say, Sammy? Is this big enough? Huh, are you sure it's not gonna be for an elephant? Cause so far, it really looks like one. <laughs> I'm sure, Sammy, but I love your vivid imagination. Thumbs up if you agree, guys. This will be the bridge over the river, and here we'll have four columns, or shall I say towers. For the archers to protect the king. Oh, hello, Mr. Sam Hood, the slime of Sherwood. <laughs> so cool. Why are you laughing, Shoe? Don't you think Robin Hood was a nobleman of his time? Stealing from the rich to help the poor. Classic. Why don't you distribute your goods evenly then? Like take all your sweets and share them with the hungry? If you want a cookie, Shoe, you can just ask for it. I have to check my stash right now just in case somebody with good stealing skills who pursues noble aims passed by it. These little strips will help to hold the framing of the castle. Let's see. Let's add even more glue. There you go. And now we'll attach the strip like that. Hmm, maybe we should use some magic to quicken the process up a little bit. Huh? Perfect! Juicy, look what I made. I think you'll need this part right away. Thank you, Sammy. Now we'll once again need some glue to attach these parts to the foundation. Our two rectangular parts go like this. <laughs> Looks great to me. It will make sure that our high castle would stand properly on its base. <laughs> That's right, Sammy. I'm impressed with your knowledge. It's like you're one of the best castle architects. And as a final touch, we'll glue the upper part like this. As I said before, don't spare the glue. Be careful. Like this. Now we can close the lid. All done. Ugh, finally. Looks awesome. Okay, the centerpiece of our craft is ready to be attached to the foundation. Done. Now we're gonna need to make towers. We glue the connecting parts this way. Easy. Wow, Shoe, you're doing great. Voila, the towers are in their places. Whoa, show, show our viewers how to make the bridge. Sure thing. Did you guys know that fortresses like this are usually called bridge castles? Uh, Shoe, I hope you understand that the bridge should be super solid. <laughs> of course, Sammy. If you want, you can test the bridge yourself later on. And now it's time for the longest yet very interesting part of this craft. We need to glue the bricks all over the framing. Shoo, they really look like those rocks they built medieval castles with. <laughs> That's the trick, Sammy. Ahem. <sighs> okay, okay. Your castle, Sir Sam. <laughs> Shoo, from now on, that is how you should call me. Am I right, guys? Hit the bell button if you also think so. Do you honestly think that people had this title only had it because they liked the way it sounds? Well, yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> no, Sammy. Long ago, it was a high honor to become a knight. Those brave guys were entitled sirs and were given certain privileges, like lands or small castles, for example. Looks pretty good. Nice work, Susan. Thanks. But now
but now we have to adjust the bricks a little bit more to make them look more like an arch. For that, we'll need to get them wet. Then it'll be easy to give the bricks the desired shape. We need to do it like this. That's awesome, Sue. Guys, be super careful with sharp tools that are asking adults to help. Now it perfectly matches the layout. So cool. We'll also make some decor so that the castle walls won't just look flat. How's it going, Susie? <laughs> Sammy, I thought you went on the search for good deeds. I actually did one good deed. I saved our kitchen from the sweets invasion. Hmm, aren't you the one who made this invasion happen? Right. You have to tell me what I should do to become a knight. Well, I see bricks and I see walls, so... Oh, oh, oh I can do that. Uh, watch me. All done. Wow, now you're talking, Sir Sam. Guys, you have to give a thumbs up if you're also as impressed as I am. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what a shy slime. That's something new. Oh, we have so many bricks to go! I guess you're already tired. Let me help you show. Bibbity, bobbity, subscribe-bitty! Oh, wow. Wow, Sam! You did help me a lot! We also have these gray texture tiles, guys. We're gonna glue them on flat surfaces of the bridge and on the top of the castle. We'll apply some glue like that. Here comes our tile! Whoa, that's some kind of magical bridge! <laughs> Yeah, sure, if you say so. So, what do you say, Sammy? Huh, something's missing here. Agree? Oh, right, Sammy. You'll need a special space for your archers to be protected here on the top of the tower. Done! These are called Merlins, guys. Now I am satisfied. Beware and behold, Sam's castle's gonna rock! Hey, Susie! I heard that normally castles were built on little hills! That's right, Sammy! We'll have to do some landscaping, and we'll need some plaster cast. Let's dissolve it in water, stirring constantly like this. Now, guys, we'll have to work really fast because the plaster cast gets hard in no time. Ew, this paste looks like porridge. Ugh. We'll put all this around our castle, forming it like the ground of a hill. By the way, in the Middle Ages, castles were strengthened like this so that it was impossible to dig a tunnel under it. Be careful, Sue! Don't make the castle dirty! Don't worry, Sammy! Everything will be very clean, I promise. Guys, don't rush here and move steadily to make it neat. But you can still make a little mess since we're imitating real rocks here. And they are far from being ideally and perfectly flat. And we're done! All is dry now. Let's make some cracks in it. Here I am, Susan, your devoted helper. But please, Sue, be very careful. And you guys ask adults to help. Guys, remember that the rock doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. I guess that's enough. What's next? Our next step here is painting. <laughs> we'll start with the brown color. Mmm, this paint spreads very well. Let's add a lighter shade of brown. Sue, 
I hope you remember that our castle should not get all dirty. Sure. Here come the last touches. This won't be a hill without green grass, am I right? As always, but to make the grass stick to the place we want it to be, we'll need some glue. Wow, so it's gonna be the best hill in the world! So check out the decor I found for our castle! Let's glue a few bushes around. One goes here. And another one here. <laughs> I feel like I could be a landscape specialist. <laughs> yeah, a medieval one. <laughs> and now we'll add more magic. Yay! Oh, you did great, Sammy. But I have another idea. We'll add some small decorative stones. It'll look very cool. What do you say, Sammy? I agree, so this castle is perfect! I'm impressed! It was so great making this castle with you today, guys! See you on our channel! Bye bye <laughs>